Once we understand how to create a simple route in the Express application, let me show you how you can create a controller inside MVC pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file inside the server. Then I'm going to create a new folder first and name it controller. And inside this controller, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to name this file to do dot controller dot js. Now you can notice how I specify name to this file. This is a type of to do controller. That is why I specify here to do dot controller dot js. Now, once we have the controller file, I can link that file in my route. So at the top here, I can just require that controller file. I'm going to simply say constant controller is equal to require. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to say single quote, double dot forward slash. Then I'm going to specify my controller folder. And inside that, I have to do dot controller file. I'm going to specify that here. What if I have 50 or more than 100 line of code inside this function? That will mess up this function. Instead of creating this handler function, or you can say this callback function inside this route, I can create that inside this controller and pass that function right here. Let me show you what I want to say. I'm going to just back to the to do controller. I'm going to create my different controllers. So at the top, I'm going to say here create controller. And I'm going to simply say here exports dot create. If you want, you can create constant variable as well and, and then export it. Instead of creating a constant variable, I just specify here export keyword and directly exported this create variable. And just after that, I'm going to specify here equal to sign and pass a function here. So I can use this function inside my route. To this function, I'm going to pass request and response parameter. You can notice here inside this callback function, we have request and response parameter. I'm going to pass that here just like this. And I'm going to copy this statement and specify that right here inside this controller. So I'm going to just save this file and back to the routes. And you can notice here, we already require this controller. So using this controller variable, I can access this create method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this function from here like this. And as a second parameter, I'm going to say controller dot create. That's it. Now, as you can notice, this is what we call a separation of concern. We separated the controller from the route file and create a dedicated file for that. Now, when I try to execute this route, I'm going to get this result. You can notice here, we use this response parameter to send the response back to the client. Let me show you how you can use this request parameter. Using this request, we can request for the data. For example, you have a form in a front end. You specify your username and password field in the text box and click on the submit button. When you click on the submit button, your username and password is going to store inside this request parameter. So we can access that inside this function. And using that, we can authenticate the user and send the response back to the client. This function is going to use to create to-do list. So what we need to do is when the user or you can say a client sends some data with the request, I want to get that data using this request parameter. To do that, I'm going to use a simple middleware of Express. We need to first import the middleware of Express inside this server.js file. And then we can access the value of the client data. So at the top here, just after this port, I'm going to simply call here app.use. And inside it, I'm going to say express.url encoded. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify object. And then I'm going to say extended is going to be false. Now this is going to add the client data inside the body. Now the URL encoded is a middleware in Express. It is passed the incoming request with the URL encoded payloads and it is based on body parser. The request is going to create a property called body and pass your data with it. Let me save this file. Just add this statement inside your server.js and back to your controller. When you make a post request, you pass some data with it. So I'm going to get that data using this parameter. So inside this function, I'm going to get rid of this statement and here I'm going to say console.log and inside this log I'm going to simply say request.body and I'm going to save this file. Now I'm going to specify here body because this statement is going to create body key inside this request object and pass the client data. So let me just make a post request. Now I'm going to open the API testing tool which is postman and I'm going to make a post request but this time Instead of just making the post request, I'm going to pass data with it. So I'm going to click on this body, click on this URL encoded, and here I'm going to pass my data. I'm going to pass data title, 
and the title is going to be a string so i'm going to pass double quote and here i'm going to say post it data now let me just click on this send button it's not going to do anything because you didn't send the response back from this controller so let me just add here response statement as well i'm going to say here response dot send back to the api testing tool and click on the send button again you are not going to get anything here because inside the response.send i did not specify anything here but if you open your terminal you will have the value of your posted data with this body variable or you can say with this body key so now you can access your client data with this request parameter now once you understand when you make a post request you can access the data of the client using this body you can create a to-do list as well let me show you how you can do it i'm going to get rid of post this statement and here i'm going to first validate the request so i'm going to say here validate request here i'm going to say if in the parenthesis if i don't have request dot body dot title if i don't have this title inside this body i'm going to execute this if statement and here i'm going to return response dot status and inside the status i'm going to return the error 400 and specify here dot send and in this parenthesis i'm going to specify message to do content cannot be empty now this is the error message right when you create an api you need to return the error message with the status code i'm going to just return a status 400 with this message now if you make the post request and forget to add the value to this title you're going to get this message now just out of that just out of this if statement let me save the user value inside the mongodb database so just on here i'm going to create here a comment and say create to do document so just on here i'm going to simply say new and i'm going to call my schema or you can say my model so as you can notice here inside the schema i have this model here i just exported this model using this statement let me use that inside my controller so at the top i'm going to say here constant to do is equal to and i'm going to require in the single code specify dot forward slash specify model and i'm going to specify here schema so i'm going to just call here structure of my document and create a new instance of it so i'm going to simply say here constant to do is equal to new to do and inside this parenthesis i'm going to pass object as you know inside the schema i have two keys title and description both have the type string so inside this to do controller right here i'm going to pass value to this document so here i'm going to say title and i'm going to pass value to it i'm going to get the value from the request as you can notice here we can access the value of the client data using this body key so here i'm going to say request dot body dot title and if i don't have the value inside this title i'm going to just replace that with this default value on title to do just out of that just on here i'm going to specify description as you know we have the description key as well inside my document i'm going to specify that here and specify your request dot body dot content when i make the post request i need to pass an object with title and content key right down here let me save this data so here i'm going to say to do dot save now the save method is going to save this data and this method is going to return a promise using that promise you can send the response to the user so just down here i'm going to say dot then and inside it i'm going to pass data as a parameter inside this data parameter you have this data i'm going to return this data as a response so here i'm going to say response dot send inside it i'm going to specify data like this now just after that here i'm going to call catch method to catch the error as well inside this parenthesis i'm going to call here error parameter and call the callback function like this and inside this callback function i'm going to just simply say response dot status i'm going to specify the status code 500 and specify here dot send and i'm going to send the response in the object and i'm going to say here message is going to be i'm going to say here error dot message and if we don't have value inside this error dot message object i can just simply pass here default value some error occurred 
while creating to do list we successfully created the first create controller of our application let me save this file and try to show you how you can add data inside your database i'm going to just open my postman testing tool i'm going to just make the post request on this create to do you can notice here i have create to do here i'm going to make that request here on create to do and inside this body i'm going to pass the data to this title and to this content variable so i'm going to get this data from the client so i'm going to just pass that data inside this body section right here i'm going to specify title instead of this posted data i'm going to specify here new to do list along with that i'm going to pass here content and content is going to be create to do list data like this just like that when i click on this send button this is going to make a post request with this data and this data is going to pass to this body parameter and i'm going to access this data with the title and the content key you can notice here i have this title and content key here and i'm going to pass this data to the instance of the model and i'm going to save that data using this statement and just like that once i save that data i'm going to return the response so when i click on the send button this will just simply return the response when you make the post request now you can notice we successfully created the data inside our mongodb database let me show you if i open my mongodb cluster and click on the collection you can notice here inside my collection i have my document you can notice here i'm going to have the object key to this document this is the unique key for every document and then i'm going to have your title and the description if i make another request using the postman testing tool i'm going to have another document inside this to do collection so this is how you can create a data inside the mongodb database in the next lecture i'm going to show you how you can find this data from the mongodb database and return as a response.